Hi, my name is Sayuri Stabrowski. I'm the Director of Instruction and an 8th grade reading teacher here at Kip Infinity Middle School in Harlem, New York. I'm really excited to share with you the work that we've done around getting our kids into text as much as possible. I've worked really closely with the principal to make sure that we have a schedule throughout the day that has kids reading, not only in reading class, but throughout the entire day, especially our kiddos who come to us a little bit behind and have some work to do to catch up. In fifth and sixth grades, especially, our kids are emerged not only in, or excuse me, immersed not only in a full reading class in which they get six, getting 65 to 75 minutes of grade level instruction, but they are also all getting choice reading, um, up to 30 minutes, and most of them are getting either a guided reading class, a read 180 class, or a system 44 class, which brings us up to another 30 to 45 minutes a day, depending on the student and their reading level. In 7th and 8th grade, we still have remediation classes such as Read 180 and System 44, but we have 90 minutes of grade level class, including a 30 minute choice reading block. Um, so as you can imagine, kids are reading a pretty large chunk of the day. Additionally, all of our history and science teachers are getting a lot of professional development around putting kids in text as much as possible and sort of flipping the script on teach and then read and sort of doing read and then teach instead. So you'll see a lot of our history classes, the kids will be immersed in books, especially in seventh grade, in which they're reading first and then discussing what they've read or getting a lesson or a lecture about the content. Same with, um, same with our science class in which the kids are doing a lot of close reading and doing Socratic seminar based on their nonfiction reading in science class. So overall, we've made some really important instructional decisions to make sure that our kids are in text up to or beyond 100 minutes a day, um, from grade everything from grade level text to leveled text and ind individuals level text and everything in between to make sure our kids are getting lots and lots of time in front of words and thinking a ton about um, all different genres of text. Thank you. Hi, my name is Allison Willis Holly, and I'm the principal of Kip Infinity Middle School. I would say we have thought about the importance of reading instruction and reading minutes at Kip Infinity since we founded the school in 2005. Um, every single teacher at this school, I think, would say without a doubt that they are a teacher of reading, and I think it's reflected in the way we plan close reading lessons across content areas, the way we structure sustained independent practice with time to read and write and conference across the entire school. Um, the way we see ourselves as reading interventionists, whether we're reading guided reading, whether we're leading guided reading groups or book clubs, um, and I think all of those different pieces throughout an entire day amass to an important amount of minutes at the end of the day, an amount of time with kids' eyes on text that is extremely important for their growth grades 5 through 8. So a few ways that we build in extra reading minutes is our class periods are 90 minutes. So about 25 minutes of our instruction, um, kids are using their choice reading books uh, and they're also using their quizzing time. So they're using AR and, uh, and I'm also conferencing with them. Uh, another way that we also infuse reading is in Read 180 and System 44. Uh, they have a 20 minute rotation period um, where they're also reading choice reading books as well. So uh, potentially our kids have about 40 minutes a day where they actually are reading independently and on grade level. Hi, I'm Ms. Rollo. I'm the reading teacher at Kip Infinity and I've been asked to share how we build um, choice reading into our day. So Ms. Dabrowski and I have planned an intervention group to take place every day from 3.30 to 4 for students who we've identified as having difficulty doing choice reading on their own at home. So every student gets 30 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes at the beginning of class to read their choice book and if students are still not meeting their word goals then they come during from the 3.30 to 4 time and do some independent reading with me and I also um, will read with them and ask them questions along the way to make sure that they're reading on their reading level. Once a student passes a quiz with an 80 or above, they add to our comprehension quilt and I would say there are probably about 122 pieces to the quilt. As soon as we have 122 80 to 100s, they earn a pizza party for the whole grade. So there were two big parts of my class that I developed this year that were really aimed at increasing the amount of nonfiction reading. The first part was just being okay with allowing them to read nonfiction choice books. So 
being okay with dedicating 10, 15 minutes of the class period a few times a week for them to just read nonfiction and then quiz on those books and develop kind of a list of nonfiction books that they chose themselves. And that takes a little bit of class time away, but it helps them overall because they're expanding their nonfiction reading and they're developing an appreciation for nonfiction reading since it's now connected to their own choice. And the second big part was just putting as much nonfiction reading connected to the content as possible. And that's not assigning random nonfiction readings for the sake of practicing nonfiction, but finding rigorous grade level texts that push them to gain additional content knowledge through nonfiction reading. So rather than me just giving them content and then maybe they read nonfiction on their own, we're giving some foundational content through lecture style teaching and then giving them additional content that they have to access completely on their own through independent nonfiction reading.